Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have a review of Hitman Pro. Hitman Pro is an anti-malware program that you can put on your PC. Just download and install both these programs and I'll show you how they work and how they operate and what they're like, everything that's involved. So we'll download the Pro, we'll download the Alert. Now I've already purchased these, so I should just be able to log in. I had to format my computer and reinstall this program. So go to uh, license. You can activate a free license for 30 days to test it out to see if you like it. I'm actually going to put my original key in here. So um, first I have to log into my account. So my product is activated now and we can we can do all different types of things here. But what we're going to do is set up a scheduled scan first. So we'll run a scheduled scan. A, a quick scan, default scan, run a scheduled scan on my computer, recommend, oh, we're just going to do a quick scan, um, and we're going to do it at startup, every time the computer starts up, we'll have a quick scan to make sure that there's nothing wrong, so our license is set up, uh, we don't need a proxy, there's no logs, not yet, um, so we want to automatically upload unknown suspicious files to the cloud, Compress unknown suspicious files before upload. Use a secure connection while uploading files to the cloud. Create a restore point before removing files. Um, yes, we want that. Scan for malware elements. Scan potential unwanted programs. Pups. These are things like um, pups are programs that you don't want on your computer. Like if you are installing another program and then on that program without you noticing or without you going through a custom install it will install an unwanted program like a browser extension or something like that or a program on your computer without you even knowing it so we want to scan for them and delete them we don't want to ignore them we always want to delete them because we don't need them unless you want them on your computer you know if you want those type of things on your computer from other pieces of software, then you probably want to just click ignore. But if I were you, I'd just get delete, get rid of that stuff. Uh, we want to scan for tracking cookies, show close browser dialog, close internet browsers. Yes, we want to close internet browsers when we're cleaning and all that. Um, I can't select this at the moment, so we'll just, we'll just go with that. And we will do a scan. So... Yes, create a copy of Hitman Pro so I can regularly scan on this computer. Recommended, all right. So we're just going to go with the recommended settings, click on next, and go through with that. So we've got an alert right now from Windows, automatic file downloads, close our internet browser to detect tracking cookies. Yes, we want to do that. All right, so it's, de it's detected tracking cookies already. So while we're doing that, we can install the alert as well. We want to perform a malware scan after installation. Um, protection level, maximum protection recommended. So we'll go with the maximum protection, which is recommended. Or you can go with protection against ransomware only. It's up to you. I think you should go with the recommended and um, install that. All right, so it's found something suspicious. Um, yeah, okay. That's OneDrive, so I'm going to leave that. I'm going to just ignore that because because I know what OneDrive is um, and we're all good with OneDrive. So we've got about two minutes before that finishes. And here it says you are protected against cyber attacks. It's scanning now. So I'll show you some of the settings in the Alert Pro. So we've got the advanced interface. So as you can see right now, it has risk reduction. So it has CryptoGuard. It has credential theft protection, protects your credentials against password dumping. We have lockdown RDP suspension. It mitigates attacks via remote desktop sessions by blocking newly introduced executables in that session. It will protect you against your webcam, uh, unauthorized webcam activity. Encrypts keystrokes to protect your passwords against key loggers. So that's what I was talking about before. Vaccination. 
disguises the computer as that of a virus researcher making sense so we went over that and we've got the bad usb it stops malicious usb devices that pose as a keyboard so they're the main risk reduction selections and then you've got all of these different things throughout your browser where, and and your, your softwares like word excel and everything like that will help help you so you've got exploit mitigation exploit mitigation are things like um, application lockdown control flow integrity iat filtering um yeah, it, you, you can have a look right here just pause the video and you can read through everything that um these things will do so it does all of that on my chrome browser so you, you can disable all of those or you can enable all of those um, you can revert to defaults you can remove mitigations you can open location um, so on and so forth so that's exploit mitigation and then you have safe browsing so warns when the browser is unsafe for online banking shopping or web mail then you have anti-malware right so it'll scan for anti-malware all the time as well so my product is activated you know, it, it'll expire you know the end of oh, next year sometime um you have safety notifications so once per logon session at app start i'm just going to go at app start for recommendations so it's recommended all right we can move back to the hitman pro scanner and we can remove these cookies so you just click on next and all of those things are removed so we'll close that down so that, that's everything that you basically need to know about the hitman pro if you want to go that extra mile you can set up a proxy to make it even more secure and you can also set up an api key through virus total and um, what virus total does is the core technology of hitman pro 3 is a sophisticated association mining system that detects malicious code by looking at software behavior and not at checksum or signatures it correlates and analyzes pro problematic behavior to assign each binary threat severity score so I'll just, uh, I'm not going to install this on my computer or anything like that because I don't want anything else on there. Um, I'll show you, I'll quickly show you what Virus Total will do for you. I'll just open up Chrome again. So here's Vi Virus Total here. You can sign up for an account with Virus Total and you can activate an API key. And what this will do is, it will, it's similar to what um, Defender will do. Bitdefender will automatically block anything through the firewall if it finds that the website is dangerous. But Virus Total will tell you you will be able to see and scan the website before you actually go to the website to see if it has any malware or any threats on the website. So all you do is you go to this website, virustotal.com, and you put in the URL. All right. So let's just grab one here. I've never been to these torrent sites, but we'll just search some of these torrent sites to see, just to give you an example of. So it says here, one of these websites here, Alpha Mountain AI, says that it's not recommended to go to it. But all of these sites here will scan for you and it will tell you whether any of those security sites have found something wrong. So we'll try another one. So here we go, malicious. So this yts.ag, it has been flagged. It's been flagged one, one out of 90. So all of these other websites are saying it's okay. A lot of websites are saying they don't actually know what's going on, unrated. But here we've found, they've found something malicious, all right? So let's try something else. We'll just try another one. We'll see if we can find more, right? Check look up, found a malicious one on that as well. Let's see if it finds anything malicious. So markettools.net. As you can see here, markettools.net, they provide illegal software. You can see that Bitdefender, this is actually another program that I use, Bitdefender has found malware from those guys. Gdata has found malware. Curator has found malware. Alpha Mountain. AI 
thinks it's suspicious. All those other guys think it's clean, which is pretty crazy. But so you can see what the better programs are there. You know, obviously, Bit Defenders like right at the top because it's found something, whereas all those other ones haven't found anything. But yeah, um, that's how it works. And you can get the app, or you can get the API, and you can put the API in here, and um, this program will scan for you. I think so. So they've got a 30-day trial. And the 30-day it's not expensive. It's very cheap for great such a great program. So um, they're selling it right now for $31.95 Australian. So it's really small. It's only 10 megabytes. It scans for bad behavior. It focuses on finding malware signatures that viruses that virus firms have identified as malicious. But what about new zero day? threats that have been researched. Hitman Pro looks at behaviors when scanning for Trojans and other malware. Bad behavior is caught with or without malware signature. It uses multiple experts. Two heads are better than one. So we have four. Hitman, lever Hitman Pro leverages malware databases from security labs, including Sophosis Labs, to be incredibly thorough when scanning for and cleaning up spyware and malware. It cleans up after itself. Malware piggybacks on various programs to gain access to your computer. Hitman Pro removes that malware and it doesn't stop there. Damages, damaged Windows resources are brought back to their safe original versions. It goes deep to clean. Resilient malware can also affect critical system files and boot records to manipulate the Windows operating system and install antivirus software. This is even before the operating system boots. Malware Pro can remove these persistent threats from within the running operating system and its boot records. Unlike free programs, Hitman Pro doesn't sell your information or install unwanted apps, toolbars, or advertising programs. We just provide secure, easy malware removal. Do I need to un uninstall any security software before using Malware Pro? No, you don't. I actually use Bitdefender as well as Hitman Pro, so I'll combine both of them together because Hitman Pro uh, does different things to what Bitdefender does. Some experts will argue to use two different types of virus or anti-malware at the same time. It's kind of pointless, but me, no, I like to have both of these. Um, we can go into why uh, on another video, but what else do we have here? Uh, they've got technical support, various languages. Uh, does it work on Mac OS? Currently, Hitman Pro only works on Windows PC. So for Mac users, sorry, it doesn't work. But yeah, they've also got business versions. So we'll have a look at the Hitman Pro alert at the moment. All right, so it removes malware, prevents hacking, stops ransomware, always on. It's one thing to clean all the gunk off your computer. It's another to keep it consistently clean. Hitman Pro alert not only removes malware, it works in the background to stop a, plef a plefia of hacking attacks. Hitman Pro Alert is the preferred choice of enhancing PC security. Why? Well, here are the reasons. It includes Hitman Pro features. All that cyber security goodness that exists in Hitman Pro is included in Hitman Pro Alert. Sounds too good to be true? Well, welcome to Security Paradise. Protect vulnerable programs. We have to say it. But sometimes standard programs like Microsoft Word or Office are the weakest link. They can be weaponized against you, allowing for open backdoor to your files and sensitive data. Hitman Pro Alert adds additional security layers around these vulnerable programs and replaces infected Windows resource resources with safe original versions. Stop zero day ransomware. Hitman Pro includes the crypto guard feature, which analyzes all encryption behavior. It's a ransomware stalker when it recognizes unauthorized encryption. Hitman Pro reacts. 
It creates backups of the files, then stops and removes the ransomware. Finally, it allows the files to be reverted back to their original state. No user interaction required and no ransomware signature needed. Keep private stuff private. Hitman Pro encrypts what you write online. So it even encrypts what you actually write within your operating system. Yeah, it's great when it does that. Um, I know I'm definitely safe against key loggers. So, you know, if you've got key logging installed on your hardware and you don't know it, or um, if somehow you've downloaded something or something's ended up on your computer and there's key logging software on your computer, whenever you're typing, as long as you've got Hitman Pro and Hitman Alert installed on the computer, everything that you type, you don't have to be worried about it because it is encrypted. It beefs up your browser security to stop hacking exploits, but wait, there's more. Receive alerts when your webcam is turned on by any program. Bitdefender does that too, and you can allow you can allow it or unallow it with a firewall. So Bitdefender is really great as well. So that'll be another program that I'll go over as well on this channel. Decisive malware. Hackers don't want their previous malware to be studied by security experts. This is why so many malware programs self-destruct when they recognize a researcher taking this into account. Malware Pro makes its users all look like malware researchers, resulting in a lot of terminated malware. Unlike free programs, Hitman Pro Alert doesn't sell your information, so that it's just going over how they don't sell your information again, which is great. The makers of Hitman Pro joined Sophus in 2015. So just to show you guys who Sophus is, we'll go to Wiki and you can have a look. Sophus is a, yes, a British security software and hardware company. It develops and makes managed security services and cybersecurity software and hardware, such as managed detection and response, incident response, and endpoint security software. Surface was listed on the London Stock Exchange until it was acquired by Toma Bravo. Toma Bravo is an American private equity and growth capital firm based in Chicago. It is known for being particularly active in acquiring enterprise software companies and has over $130 billion in assets under management. Right? So the company is large enough to back itself up and make sure they're doing the right thing by its consumer. So this is what they specialize in, um, security software and computer security. So we'll just check out their website real quick. So as you can see, these are all their products that they specialize in. They specialize in endpoint networking, mail and cloud, home, small business security operations. All right guys, that's all for today's video. If you found this helpful, smash the like button and hit the subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.